Welcome to another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. I'm Matt Zylo, I'm Gethel. If you missed yesterday's Ben & Jerry's ice cream review, you can click right here and check that out. Click on this. Today we're going to be trying another flavor. This is, uh, as he puts that away, Stephen Colbert's Americone Dream. I've never had this. You apparently have already given this a 5 out of 5 seal of approval. Yeah, I'm sorry. I could I could. I've never, I've never had this one before. I've seen it many times, and I love Stephen Colbert. He is, it's funny because, like, The Daily Show is still really good, like yeah, John Stewart. No. You can tell though that John Stewart uh, he takes more days off and mm -hmm. he's 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 getting he's getting a little older so I think he's kind of like I think sometimes Tapering down a little yeah bit. he only does a certain amount of shows now so uh, Steve Colbert though has a different kind of style and but I like his style it's much more goofy and animated and <laughs> over the top very satirical as they would say I remember when Steve Colbert first started his show and I was like the first season was very iffy I didn't think he was gonna make it because yeah. you watch him and you're just like. It's really awkward. <laughs> and then there was some point in the second season where he where he just it clicked for him and he finally found his character and he was great. Same thing for Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. Jimmy Kimmel was terrible the first season that he, that he did his show and then something happened and now he's just perfect. Like he's mm. he's great the way he is. So here we go. Uh, let's try this out. It has vanilla ice cream with fudge covered waffle cone pieces and a caramel swirl. Yeah. Only one caramel swirl. I want multiple caramel. Swirls. I think it's got multiple caramel. Okay. Well, then I need to state that. Oh uh, no. Nah. Nah, bro. Fuck. This is Steve Colbert. I can't believe they did cool, that. Whatever the hell. I can't believe they did that. Uh, oh, look at that. The little thing has like a little cover over it. I bought well, the little sample. I, I've never seen the sample ones. Yeah, it? it's a little sample. It's so you can eat it and not feel totally terrible about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> They're cheap too. I think the samples are only like a dollar or something. All right, I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna keep it on my side. Oh man, you're not gonna get the whole experience. No, I'm keeping it on my side. I got a feeling because there's like no, you gotta keep, get the chunks. And no, I'm, keep, get... I'm keeping it on my side. Oh, good, good gravy, man. Good gravy. <laughs> Con nuevos. It's like having a big poop. Ah, okay, I got a big spoonful here. He's gonna taste some of my spit. Yep. <sighs> I don't care. <laughs> five out of five seal of approval means I don't care if you spit on it. Yeah. I'll still eat it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Right, there we go. There we go. All right, here we go. Let's I'm not go. sure. It does it have still have the chunks in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's that's really good. That is heaven in my mouth. I still prefer though the chocolate versions of Ben and Jerry's. I'm just I'm just a chocolate You're a chocolate guy. guy. But it's good. I mean, this is if as far as vanilla ice creams go, I don't think it get any better than this all right, for me. Like this is basically the god of all vanilla ice creams. If it was chocolate though. Uh, <laughs> it's so good. Well, you could still put chocolate on it, so. But the point mm -hmm. is not to be able to put anything on it. You want to taste the whole thing. I can get that too. So, but this is, to me, this is amazing. This is like I said, five out of five. It's a so seal cold. of approval. It's just amazing. This one is. So cold. <laughs> it's uh, it's just got so many flavors in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. One of the things that Lori and I do is um, the dryers um, Butterfinger flavor. And we get the uh, chocolate fudge that you pour it on and it, it like solidifies. And that's pretty much a sexual experience in the mouth. Yeah. It's it's so good. It's ridiculous. Like we did that once on a whim and now we've gotten it like three or four times since then. It's the best. You come home, you have that, and you watch like Netflix. And like this is why society is getting fatter because <laughs> that's a great experience. <laughs> Netflix and ice cream. Fuck. This is really good. I can definitely taste the caramel in there. Whatever the caramel one swirl. I guess I got the one swirl. Uh, and the vanilla is really strong. And then those little, uh, there's not as much flavor out of those little nuggets, whatever the hell they are, but they, they taste good. They have a nice little crunch. In the in the bigger one, they have bigger chunks too, so. They better. They don't know, they definitely do. They better. I'd give this one a very high four out of five. Not quite a five for me, but that's yeah. because there's a few other flavors that are five and sealed rules easily. Brilliant. But this one's yeah. good. It's not bad at all. Very solid. There you go. Yeah, solid like your face. Uh, I don't know. It's all, uh, my face is kind of... Squishy. It's good though. You're starting to feel better because of the antacids, yeah? Yeah, oh yeah. That means you're able to do it's your challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, definitely go check out Stephen Colbert's uh, burp, Americone Dream. Let us know in the comments down below, what is your favorite Ben & Jerry's flavor and why? Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow.